kind hi everybody what is going on how you doing welcome to my channel t girl magic Carol. yeah yeah here to do a reading for my J -J gemini my gemini what's going on gemini high vibe cross watchers everybody is welcome how you doing and i hope everyone's doing well just real quick i am open for readings now you guys um I guess I'll put the details in the description box below, but all you got to do is email me and we can, you know, schedule that out. But, um, choir, come to the front and just FYI, it's a general message. It's not going to resonate with everybody, so you already know what to do, okay? Um, really quick, choir, come to the front really quick. <clears throat> One, two, three, oh, T-Girl, T-Girl, Magic and Collective. T-Girl, 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 Magic and Collective. T-Girl, T-Girl, Magic and Collective. Come check us out and see what we're about. Yeah, we are Gemini, 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 Gemini. Gemini, we sing Gemini, 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 we are Gemini, 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 Yay! Hallelujah! 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 Okay, y'all, before I begin the reading, I kept hearing, I didn't shuffle this deck yet because I really was singing, I was hearing, this is the song that I heard, I, although we've come to the end of the road, though I can't let go, you belong to, or it's a natural, oh, I hadn't heard that song forever, but you know the boys to men song, we've come to the end of the road, and then I turned these cards over. And then it had the fork in the road. So that told me, yes, you guys could come to the end of the road with someone because they being stubborn. You tired of going around and around and around and around and around with someone. I mean, time is up. You're just done. So you gave them back to whatever, wherever you gave them to, baby. And now they want to mend. Okay, so that's where I and look because you feel like they are unfinished symphony. So that's the song that I heard. So, um, my boys to men, ooh, damn, they say, okay, you know when that happens, I ought to get these. Lord have mercy. I'm scared. Good. Okay, Holy Spirit, what is going on? What do you want to tell my babies? Yeah, you're just saying the timing isn't right because the time have changed. You're not in the same energy you are anymore, you guys. What's going on with, wait, let me get the current energy. So we got the end of the road. Somebody can't let go. They feel you belong, it's a natural. You belong to them and they belong to you. They feel like you are family. They want, look, I'm telling you, what's the overall energy? The overall energy is... The Ten of Coin, or the Ten of Pentacle, and the Four of Wands. But the thing is, this person's too fucking toxic and confrontational and ruckusy and problematic and addictive and imbalanced in their emotions. And they're a little traveling ho, low key, high key, low. And that's the problem. But this person thinks that you guys can still make it happen, okay? You don't want shit to do with them, okay? Because you tired of filling up the two of pentacles. You're tired of all these emotions. You're tired of trying to work it out over and over and over again. You know what I mean? And your intuition's telling you to go ahead and cut this person off and let them go. But they feel some kind of way, spirit. Mm -hmm. Spirit say they do. They have all this love for you now. Um, and they're all stressed out in their head. They can't sleep, okay, because they want to reconcile. You don't want them no more, okay? Yes, and they are all crying like they should have never got with this Queen of Wands energy or somebody else that they left you for or whoever, the other woman, and they feel foolish like they jump off the cliff and cut you out and now, yeah, they fucked up because as soon as they left you out in the cold, you had some type of level up because now you're showing up as the Empress with this new beginning, yeah, and you're blocking them, okay? You're blocking your heart. Look, your heart is crossed, okay? You're going within, using your intuition. You're balancing out your emotions. So this is not some type of emotional decision that you've made. This is a logical decision that you've made to end up cutting this person out because you see them. And this person stressed out that you cut them out. They never thought in a million years that you'd cut them out. But the last, because this is the Nine of Swords, so that one more sword, or this could have been the sword, it could have been whatever. They did it too many times. This is the rep repetitive cycle that this person keeps going in. They're always in the nine of swords energy, stressed out, you know, because of whatever this king of cups is. 
I don't know. He, I just keep hearing he, he keep giving his love away. Okay. Oh, and then he got somebody pregnant, they, which closed the cycle, and then it turned the wheel for you, and you ended up getting justice because they violated the earth angel, low key, high key, low, because they done laid some shit to rest. Okay, now there's nothing moving on in their life right now after things have ended with the person that they tried to go into a relationship and marry possibly because they got them pregnant. Not for everybody, but it's another relationship and it is another woman or another man who they had a lot of emotion for. So this person couldn't decide with the two of pentacles. That's why they were indecisive going back and forth feeling juggly ugly. Yeah, because they couldn't, they, look, they couldn't decide what they wanted. They didn't even want to let go of any toxic behaviors. They were comfortable operating in this low vibrational confrontational state. And now they're stuck trying to figure out how do I get back in balance? Because Gemini, high vibe, whoever you are, cross watcher, Aries, fire sign, you done cut their ass out. And now here they come. But you don't want that shit. No, you don't want it. Mm -mm, mm -mm. So spirit, tell us more. Oh my God, the same shit, different day. But why is this energy, this energy need to go lay down and take a nap, number one, and start to regenerate their own life and work on themselves and stop being so worried about what the fuck you got going on. But they can't because this is a soul tie. This is a soulmate connection, whether it be a karmic or a real soulmate. But I'm picking up karmic because only karmic relationships go through these types of things. And, and it's not to say that you, they can't heal or uh, level up or anything like that, get another understanding. But this was part of your healing and your evolution, okay? Yeah, it was time for you to clean this energy out because like I said, you even though it was a soulmate, this person was brought in your life for you to either clear some things out of your life and learn some things about yourself or what you need to clear out so you can heal, learn, grow, and evolve to be better than you were. Yeah. And after you did that, you got rid of this soulmate energy. That's why the pool is so... Well, I feel that the pool is still strong on them because they're still karmic operating in that devil energy. And you are clear right now, okay? There's been a change in the wind and this is what's causing this confusion about them. They're trying to figure out why all of a sudden, because to them it's all of a sudden, even though they have showed pattern and repetitive you know, habits of them keep doing the same thing over again. So you had no choice but to lay this shit down to rest. You had to lay, take it a nap. And then after a lot of y'all got more rest and rejuvenation after you kicked this person out to the curb, okay, that was keeping your house dirty, stanky and musty and shit for some of y'all, not all of y'all, okay, because their hygiene wasn't so good. And you had to balance things out, okay, in your life. So now that you've got this, you've gotten rid of this raggedy energy, okay, now you're able to clean your home. You know, now you have peace. You, you're inviting peace in your home. Here you go. No place like home. Now your your home's energy has changed, okay? Um, now somebody's feeling left out of the cold, baby, with this orphan energy because you have left them from behind. See this energy right here? See how they are, they are matching these dull, desolate, sad, depressive energies while you were in th with this person? Whoever this is, well, it could be anybody, but I'm picking up heavy love relationship. You were operating in this sad energy. You were feeling orphaned and left out. Even if even if you were in a relationship with this person, they still were leaving you. You still felt alone. And so that's when you were getting some type of a download from spirit. Thank you to go and leave this person behind. It's time to go. Okay. And you did that. So this is you leaving, coming out of the dark. Sorry, my hands are ashy, y'all. I know you see the light now and it's shining on me. So you went through a transformation and now you're glowing and bubbly and beautiful and everything. And now this person's all sad and depressed and decrepit because you done left them behind. They didn't expect you to leave. It, to them, it was abruptly, but you had to. You didn't have no, you didn't have no other choice. Yeah, because now you in this inner baby. Y'all keep going. Keep doing good. So, yeah, you did the right thing. You did the right thing. Definitely did the right thing. And this was all divinely done by God. So they need to ask God. And some of them are asking God, why did you leave them behind? I don't know why they're asking God these dumb questions. And I mean, to them, I mean, I don't know. Yeah, because they feel you were the soulmate. Maybe you were, they felt that you were supposed to... Ugh. You were supposed to take all the abuse and mistreatment from this person because they felt that you were a soulmate. Like you're supposed to love me unconditionally, but that's not real love. That's not the unconditional love we're talking about. 
We're not talking about an unconditional love where you beat, batter, abuse, and verbally attack me and mistreat me and put me in this low vibrational energy and I'm supposed to still be with you anyway. No, God wants us all to be like this. So you're supposed to be with a partner who brings this out of you on top of you already being here. Don't look for anyone to bring you in this energy. You're supposed to be in this energy. And then by the time you meet this soulmate energy, okay, it just elevates it even more. You know what I mean? So you came to the edge and you released this love or whoever emotions that you had from this person. Yeah, because it was time. Everything is divine timing. So yeah, because you the cycle's been completed. God's like enough of this, okay? You want to be serendipitous. You want to be happy. This person's being stubborn. They're being in a fork in the road, okay? Okay, they, I'm telling you, they smell animal-like, okay? This person from your past, low-key, high-key, whoever they are, male or female, Jesus, I hope it ain't a female. And not that the men are supposed to stink, you know what I mean? But like they say, what is it, boys? What is it? Oh, my God, that little childhood nursery rhyme, boys are something about puppy, puppy tails and dogs. Pup <laughs> I can't remember what it is. But men, you know, I guess it's more acceptable, even though it's not acceptable that they, if they, you know, are musty. But women, how dare you? How dare you? How dare you, ladies? Okay, you smell like a fucking animal barn and I'm going to need you to clean some shit up. And maybe that's why my men's is for some of my ladies. They done let go of your ass because they got, they like, first of all, what the fuck is happening here? What is going on here? Okay, so yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that's not, funny. no, that shit is funny. Like, what kind of woman don't know that she not, I don't know. But anyway, Spirit, what else is going on? What you saying about this, um, this love, this love situation? Some of y'all was married to the person, okay? Yeah, you did. And then when y'all, okay, so some of y'all, when they got with you, they started showing their true colors because they figured out that you wasn't going to go nowhere, okay? And what else, Spirit? So what do you feel about this relationship? I don't know. I don't know. Spirit, what advice do you have about this relationship? Children, so some of y'all ain't had no children or they wanted to get you. Uh, some of these people feel had you guys had kids or had they locked you up with a child, you wouldn't have released them, but you've released them because you have nothing holding you to this person. So thank God and give glory to the ancestors and the Holy Spirit that you did not have no motherfucking um, children with this one. Oh yeah, honey. And by you not having kids with this person, because they're a controlling person I'm picking up that they're no longer to, they're no longer able to control you or tell you to give this relationship another chance because there's nothing holding you here for some some of you you do have kids but spirit needs you to let go okay just because you have kids don't mean um that you're supposed to be with this person spirit saying to release your ex because you looking like this whoever this whoever you are this person was making you feel like this. Like, oh my God, like, golly, heavy. Okay, but this person's feeling like this because they didn't have kids by you. They're like, oh my God. <laughs> it sounded pathetic and stupid and everything, okay? Yep, 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 yep. So what else, Mary? What else is going on? Let me switch back in. Oh, they wanted me to use these. I said I was scared, honey, but the timing ain't right no more. So what you want my babies to know about the shenanigans of the gym? Ooh. Honey, somebody talking about they, they, yeah, they want you to let go of control issues. This person's not trying to work on anything right now, even though they know, like, they need to, they need to go within and work on themselves, but they're refusing. They're not doing it. They need to let go of control issues because they're being forced to work through something right now. Um, give your relation. Oh yeah, they got secrets. That's for sure. To, let's give your relationship a chance. They want you to give your relationship a chance. But spirit say it's trouble, okay? You see right through it, okay? You see right through it, even if they tell you they want to work it out or whatever the case may be. You, you see right through them and they want to know how do you do that shit? How do you do that shit? <laughs> do that what else, Spirit? Sarah, Sarah, you deal with this person, you're going to have, you're going to pick up their legal issues because they could be going through legal and court issues right now. Yeah. And you're running from this person. So, yeah. Anything. Ooh. Ooh, I told you. They went. Okay, so somebody went off and they cheated and they possibly had a baby. 
is why they got news that they were pregnant with somebody else, but then that was a lie. That was a secret. They tried to cover up why they left you. They released you because they got word from their other lover that they left you for, um, that they were pregnant. And, and so that's why, because they were pregnant, they wanted to give their relationship a chance. Okay. So they ended up so-called had a baby or a daughter. Okay. And they want you to forgive them because that relationship is nothing but trouble. They did not use their intuition and this person is not using common sense. So this person's not smart. Clearly they're not smart. At, spirit said at all they could be into sports okay swimming baseball basketball football soccer track and they trying to cover up some shit about how they got somebody pregnant with this new love energy and they in financial ruin right now so the grass was never greener on the other side and also god has punished this person for violating a soulmate energy that god has brought this person because they thought they was going to get away and do something else with a whole nother lover and they released you they released the gift and shit what they didn't know and what was hidden is that this person was trying to control them okay and keep them in a repetitive cycle and this person fell for it and they are never learned this so they're not learning a lesson now still okay they just want to get out of this karmatic ener energy because they're suffering high key low key Spirit, what else? What else? What else? Yeah, they want to brat. Ooh, mm -mm, nah, hell no. Nah. They got this penis out, child. They trying to give it to you. Child, they might want to give you a little bit of money to try to get into your good graces. Oh, I'm hearing somebody want to give it to you. Uh, somebody want to give it to you. Oh, that's the truth. They want to come back from this heartbreak. But you know what? If you let them back in your energy, they will betray you in a third party situation, possibly with this baby mama or whoever they left you for in the first fucking place. Um, and they're going to backstab and betray you. And that'll be in judge. That'll be your judgment, baby. And we don't want that. Okay. Um, and what else spirit? So what's my going on with my babies though? That they're, 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 they're mentally entrapped about you because they will never, ever be able to, you know, this is disgusting. This kind of person is so worried about who you about to get this from or who's giving this to you or who you giving it to masculine. They're, look, they cannot, they stressed out. This might as well be the nine of swords because this is mental entrapment too, okay? Yeah, and I'm getting that because we did see that and they're still holding on to you, trying to make a small, yeah, they, they oh, they know a king of pentacles might be coming in the background. You might got two people unbeknownst to you that's stressed out about you receiving this new offer. It's a lot going on in your energy, okay? But regardless, Somebody wants a new beginning with you and they want to marry you this time to keep you stuck so you don't go nowhere. And that's why they want to reconcile. So they're going to be proposing to you a marriage situation. They're going to want to take a leap of faith, but you already know your intuition's going bling, 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 that if you get with whoever this energy is, it's going to throw you off, Empress, because you're already sitting on your throne and it's going to end some shit for you. And you don't need no shit ending because shit's already going in your favor and you're get, receiving justice anyway. Yeah. And this person wants to lay. Yeah. Either. I don't know what the sick card is laid to rest where they're stressed out because you see their toxic ass ways. This is a narcissistic king of cups and the devil put together with gemini's uh-uh this is a confrontational person and they come in to dumb themselves down as the page of pentacles to give you some type of immature offer about how they want to invest in you but you come into a queen of pentacles which is you like they yo two of cups and they want to heal something from you because you they wish fulfillment but they really want to equal give and take or well they do want to eat well i don't know if it's equal they're going to come and lie to you and saying it's equal but they still in its third party energy. So this is still a raggedy ass trying to, uh-uh. So what does Gemini feel? And what are their plans moving forward? Somebody is doing daily candle work on you. What does this mean? Yeah, and you blocked that shit. So that's why none of their magic is working or anything. And this is could be why they're stressed out because they could have possibly ended up sick because the energy has to manifest somewhere. They did a love spell. They was jacking off. I don't know. Oh, child, this is getting deeper. I can't go that deep. But anyway, Spirit, what else? Somebody is self-deceiving themselves. Yeah, they're coming to you like they're coming to tell you the truth, but it's still a lie. They still want to win at all costs. They went down the wrong turn somewhere. Child, what do they want to do? What is all of this? This person's all over the place, to be honest with you. They don't know what they want. They don't know who they are. 
Um, this is a chameleon energy when I seen the King of Wands because there's a chameleon right by the King of Wands to tell me that this is a shapeshifter. See the King of Wands uh, chameleon right there? He's a shapeshifter. This person likes to be seen. Um, they like to be heard. This, they're, they're really, this person can be loud at times too. Not, not saying that the King of Wands is loud, but what I'm picking up because this person's dressed extremely loud. Like look at, like you can't miss this person from a fucking mile away, you can see them coming. So you can possibly hear them coming, see them coming. This person possibly looks good. Not for every King of Wands, because I know some King of Wands look crazy. And you be like, I know this ain't no damn King of Wands. What kind of shit is this? Um, yeah. Um, and not to say, you know, I'm not saying nothing about the King of Wands, but this King of Wands is mad that they went down the wrong path to be a whore. Who they thought, yeah, so they went with a hoe. So they, this king of wands is a hoe. To, they left you to go be with a hoe. Oh, Lord have mercy. And they married them too. And then how it quickly they married them, that shit went dead. So I don't, for some of y'all, the, the whoever they thought that they got pregnant and they left you to go be a family with this person. The baby is not theirs. And that's illuminating to them too that this person was working with other people as well, pretending that, oh yeah. So they got bamboozled for shoesle. Okay. So now they stuck because a lot, some of them took the, on the responsibility of this baby, even though a baby's not there. So I'm picking up these legal issues. This person's trying to fight paternity in court, but because, see, they're trying to fight paternity in court. But it's not going in their favor at the end of the day, okay? It's going in this empress's favor because the judge is looking at this man like, well, you knew that this person was pregnant. You assumed the responsibility financially and physically of this pregnancy. So you are the fucking father. And a lot of states, the judges look at that. They don't want the baby being bounced back and forth. Now, just depending on the situation, but because this man did take responsibility, I can see if they didn't take responsibility and they was fighting it tooth and nail. But once you, the judge is looking at it like, once you take action to move forward and take care of somebody else's baby, bitch, it's a wrap. You gotta pay. You gotta pay. You gotta pay. You gotta pay. And this person's like, oh my God, So they don't really have no money because they got a little bit of money. So I don't know how that's going to work. So maybe they want to come to you thinking, to look, thinking about coming down, traveling, and you give you some of this nasty ass genitals. <laughs> they are. They are. They want to come mix them fluids and juices and balance it with you. And you like, oh, hell no, nah, Gemini. Look, I'm sorry. Let's get married. And you like, skirt, skirt. No, mm -mm, no, no, it's not going to fly. It's not going to happen because I see your funky ass. I know about these babies. Go stay your, with your baby. Go take care of all of it. Just leave me the fuck alone, okay? It is what it is. You trickster, you manipulator, all of that. I don't have time. I'm too busy on my throne running my businesses or business or whatever. And then also you got a king of wands energy wanting to come to you. Now, there is a lot of people on here, Gemini. You guys are the lovers. Not to say this one person dating all these people. Just take the energies and take them where they apply. But you do have a Sagittarius energy that is pissed the fuck off at this. So it could be the same energy. This Sagittarius is mad that the baby ain't theirs, but they still got to pay for the baby. But they want to come to you. But then you like, oh, hell no. So they kind of fucked up some shit. Yeah, low key, high key, low. Anything else, Holy Spirit? Yeah, they want to work on this with you because you're the Ten of Cups. This Emperor energy. Mm, and they want to come forward to you, baby. They, they want to come... They, they chose you. They see you being victorious and successful. They see a brand new beginning with you, but it's a heavy burden because you're looking back at the past of what they had happened. They got you in a conflict or they got you on a love triangle and they got you everything while they was left leaving you out in the cold to be this nine of pentacles and keeping you stuck. So now they stressed out because they know they can't come back because you done cut them out and then they, mm -mm, it's a lot. The same shit. You done, Gemini. You're learning that, to see things for what they really are. When people show you who they are, to believe them. And that's okay. It's okay. They don't like that. They don't like that they have been exposed. Because you're looking at it from another perspective and they're feeling defeated, okay? Because all their lies, they're not working at all. Or they won't work anymore. Whoever these people are. So, Gemini, keep going. Keep doing a good job. <laughs> Yeah, these people are popping pills, drinking everything, drinking and driving and stuff because they, oh my God. And then just spirits say for some of them, they're going to become, I've been getting this. 
They're going to come to your house inebriated either on drugs and or alcohol. They're going to get behind that wheel because they, honey, they're going to try to get some liquid courage to come to you and make some type of offer that you don't want. Yeah, you don't want it. And it's and it's heavily stressing them out and it's making them sick low key, high key low. And okay, Spirit, what any what anything else? How you want to end this? What's what's the word? What's the word? Words, words, words. The birds, the word. Somebody just in their thoughts now. Yeah, the, the bird is the word as well. You, you okay, you're a bat. Okay, Gemini, high vibe, cross watcher, whoever you are, you're not even. You're not, you don't have, you're not even worried. You're unbothered. You don't give a fuck. You exchanging gifts. You're communicating with the Holy Spirit, with your ancestors, with God the Most High. Like you're in a happy, poised place in your life. You could be on a platform, have your own platform where people look up to you. You're loving and kind and healing and nurturing, very yin energy, very calm and tranquil. So you're in a very peaceful, tranquil, serendipitous state right now because you have released this heavy ass burden and now we got this person over here child they just looking at you online from a distance thinking shoulda woulda coulda that shoulda married you i shoulda yeah but i only got myself in black balance so this person know they got um, anyway child they not getting you back okay they are too imbalanced now they're reflecting on the things that went wrong and why their life is fucked up as it's fucked up and now all of a sudden they want to go to distance so they're going to come to you like they have some type of transformation but spirits say that's a lie you're going to see right through these people or this person or whatever you're going to see right through them that this is what it is this is why they need you to rescue them now orphan could be this is my five of pentacles homeless card okay they are feeling left out of the cold. They are feeling a way, you know, they're feeling some kind of way because you're in your empress on your throne. They're feeling left out of the celebration, this 10 of pentacles. Like you have a brand new life. You're happy, Gemini. You're manifesting your best life. And this person is, but they are going like, you don't need to commingle your energy with this energy. You got away from it. Okay. That The lesson was for them to learn their moves, fuck their life up. They, they didn't fuck you up. Because they did this shit on purpose to make you feel left out and abandoned. But that didn't happen. All it did was put you in a yin energy. Poised, beautiful. You done had a glow up. And now you're exchanging gifts. So you're very spiritual. Very protective. Okay? And you're at peace. And this is why this person's feeling this way. Because you're at peace. Because this is a trouble starter. A troublemaker. A troublemaker. They wreak havoc on even them own selves. So this is a walking ball of destruction. I'm surprised the chaos and conflict it card didn't come out, but this is who this person is. So good job, Gemini. You see them. They want to come back. They mad that they, but they already know they can't come back. So we'll see what happens. Okay. We'll see what happens. But Gemini, this has been your reading. I love you so much. Have a wonderful day and I'll talk to you soon. Bye.